That could have been a bad start to the day. Oh my word. Perfect. Reversing. Perfect. Right, let's get these bad boys loaded. That could have been a bad start to the day. Oh my word. Good thing Mel puts these in uh, plastic packets. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Perfect. I have no idea whether the thing's turned on or not. <laughs> is it looking at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on. No, this is a big double muscled thing. Come on. Come on. There you are. Right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've obviously got a GoPro on my head, as you can see this morning. I'm going to take you around. Um, and give you a bit of a point of view of doing all the yard work this morning. We've sent some fat cattle away, as you've just seen us load up. Um, so we'll go and get all the sheds ready and get some uh, scraper action going. Just want to say thank you to all the members who have joined the channel. Um, there would have been a graphic along the bottom of all their names on. If you want to join as a member, um, you can do. There's a link in the description. You get your name on the screen. You get a bit of a merch discount if you want to buy merch and uh, members only post. So. Yeah, let's crack on and get some yard work done. Next job, shove these calves back through the feed fence. Well done, girls. You know where you're going. That one's chewing that one's ear. A bit weird. What have you been doing? Hello. No, don't want to say hello. Someone's taking a number two in this trough as well. They like doing that. I highly recommend those troughs. If anyone's got a beef shed, <coughs> or any shed, if you've got any cattle shed, those troughs are fantastic. They stay clean. Oh, both of those calves are out again. What is going on this morning? Another example of dunging in the trough. They like to rub their backsides on these. And then they end up doing the nasty in them. Hello. Right, you annoying sods. Get back in there. Go on. Playtime's over. Come on, follow you, mate. that for a calf. Hello mate, can you go in there please? Hello. How? Oh, hello. You like your mother? You're not friendly? Oh. Right, we can finally get on and do some yard work. Oh, this... It's a Thursday, but it feels like a Monday. Now what I'll do is I'll make a mental note of that, that that needs fixing and I'll completely forget about it. Up in the main shed now, <coughs> just checking everything's all right, shutting them all back. There's last night's new arrival. Absolutely perfect, having a nice 
Sook on mother. Just kick this silage in for her so she can reach it all. Right, come on, you mucky bunch. Come on. Good work. Right, let's get to scraping. Thank you, 250. Good work. Right, just got the straw chopper out. I don't normally do the straw chopping. Um, but John's taking cattle and Craig's at the other farm this morning because Dr. Phil is away. So it's a treat for you and me. Get to have a go on the straw chopper. I'm just gonna do one of the sheds because Craig will be back before uh, too long. Just gives him a bit of a head start so he's not working into coffee time. Sorry guys, I ran out of battery, so I've just nicked another one out of the office. But we will uh, get ourselves reverse into the shed here. Too much. The control box with a better so joystick does your spout movement just a flap on the front to how aggressive it feeds straw in back door and then your bed speed so we'll turn it on and turn the bed speed down to three turn the bed on try not to blow it directly on any of the young calves from the front to the back. Use the cows as a bit of a windbreak. I'm sorry about the uh, wiper being in the way. Yeah, we give the cows a proper good coat in a straw every single morning. Keep them nice and clean, keep the calves nice and healthy. I'm sure there'll be people in the comments telling us we're doing it wrong and we should be doing it X, Y, and Z way. Well, this is the way we do it, it works for us. Great thing about farming is that everyone does it differently. We're all achieving the same goal of producing foods. Right, back down where we put the straw in. I'll just show you how I put the straw in uh, on this load. Get that one out of the way so we can see. Um, back door down. To about there somewhere. Now we put the straw in there with the bell spike. So take out your trusty pen knife. Standing on the tire, you make sure you cut behind the knot. Again, everyone does this differently. Some people cut them from down there and pull them forward. I always cut them up here. One, two, three, four. Cut the other two from this side. Again, you want to make sure you find that knot before you cut. There it is, so cut that one. And then you can see roughly where the line is. So we'll cut behind it. Stow the knife. 
The reason I cut them up that top end behind the knot is because both the knots then are on this end of the string that I'm holding now. And grab it, something like that, so they're all there. Make a loop, pull it through, and then I've got myself a handle to pull the straw out. And it's as easy as that. Right, so the next job before I do start feeding is to pick up all that muck I scraped up with the uh, 250. So we just whip round with the dung bucket on the Manitou every morning and scoop it up against the panel in the shed. Just whip round here, there's a cow there bullying. That's good. Hopefully that means I'll be ready to uh, get in carp again when we put the bull out. I'm going to use the Manitou to open this gate. Falling off that ledge. Probably follow me back out now, won't it? No, it's staying there, good. So, yeah, we just come around and scoop up this muck here against this wall. Take that bucket away. I'll come back and get that other one in a minute. What we do with this dung is we bring it down to our midden and we tip it on our rather enormous pile. It stays in here for a while and then what we do is we take it up to the field and put it in a heap and spread it in the summer after we've done our silage. Let's push these sheep's feed in, this will keep them going for another hour or so. Our little homemade wheel. Craig made this one, does a fantastic job, saves a lot of backache with a brush and a shovel, an awful lot of time as well. Just whip down through like that, come around and push in the cow's food as well. It's easy enough to do it whilst they're all shut back, you've got no risk of catching their heads or anything. We push it in every morning and every evening. Just encourages the animals to come and feed and keeps all the food where they can reach it. Get to the end of the passageway, stick the boom out, and drag the stuff they're trying to push out the shed back in. Put on our new Strymec grab here. Best invention ever. Depression switch. Or decompression switch, I should say, not a depression switch. Morning big boots. Just turn this one round so I haven't got to reach over a power shaft. It's a huge thing, I like this Amazon lock. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Turn the side lights on because that's what powers the screen. Basically, we just uh, chuck five and a half ton of silage in this one and that'll feed the fresh cows. Turn the screen on. Hello. Now we're ready to go loading. Now the top of this pit is very, very dry and the bottom is quite juicy. So what I try and do is a nice mix of the lot um, down over. What I need to do is take that gravel there first. And yeah, we just do this for uh, 10 gravels or so. These hard ox tines are brilliant. Nothing sticks to them. Everything just slides off. Wonderful job. We're loaded up. See it nearly coming over the top of the wagon there. It's about a capacity. You can probably get a couple hundred more kilos in the back. Safety first, turn off the power shaft. Push the screen round. 
line up into the tractor. We'll head off in the direction of the cattle shed. I'll open the back window so you can see a bit better, look. Feed these guys in their trough, and then they can be let out the shed then. Of course, I'm not going to out. Let it empty. Beautiful job. Do a little bit of sneaky reversing. Recycling lorries here. There's not many of them in that pen, so they don't need too much. And that'll do them. I've got 400 to start the next mix in the wagon still. So that's good. Hold that one up, that one down. And yeah, that is how I feed the cows every morning. And now we'll go and do a sheep mix. And then what I'll do is I'll pick all this on the floor here. You see as the cows have pushed that out from their trough yesterday. I'll sweep that up and chuck that in. I'll try not to reverse into the shed because that is not a good idea. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 ah. Alright, all loaded up. Next stop, a nice warm shed for them. Right, I have made it to our shed that we're going to put these cows in. I need to wait for Bowman. He's on his way uh, up here with a uh, tractor and loader. Because we need to get down a couple of bales of straw, bed all this up for them, uh, and then we'll take away this bit of rubbish silage here and we'll put three or four bales out that will last them quite a while. The cows that are in the box are actually empty cows that we're going to run round and um, put back with the bull this year. Uh, and so they won't actually be on this farm, they want to be at, at Rowden at the science farm um, when they go with the bull. So what we'll do is when we bring cows up here to turn out uh, to this farm, we'll backload home with those cows and they can go out back there. But um, they were outside but the weather's changed they're making a mess. Um, it's just better for them to be under a roof. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick them in here for the time being. So when Bowman's here, we'll sort all that out and we'll stick them in there and they'll be happy as Larry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I completely forgot to show you the cows when they came out of the box in the shed, but um, they're in there and they're happy. We've given them enough bales to last them over the weekend. Uh, me and John are just going to have a little bit of a walk around the barley um, whilst we're up here. And, uh, and we'll head back, either wash the box out or uh, find something to do until the end of play today. Right, we're home. John's gonna start doing washing. I'm gonna go and find him a squeegee, give him a hand and then push all the food in. So we're nearly done for the day. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, there is loads of links in the description for all my other socials, Instagram, Snapchat, the likes. Uh, for merch, hats, hoodies, gilets, if anyone wants any of that, uh, you can find all that down there. And yeah, we'll see you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio.